This story happened in the late 1980s, early 1990s. I was around six or seven years old. This one particular night, I was home alone with my sister. She was around 14 or 15 at the time. Anyway, it was about 8 p.m. and it was dark. We were in the common room since that was where the TV was. We were watching some crime documentary about a guy who went on a rampage and killed his next door neighbors and kidnapped their young daughter. The thing about our common room is that it leads to the backyard via a large glass door. This one night it was pitch black out. Couldn't see anything. Now the front door of the house is on the other side of the common room. Now that door is solid and we couldn't see through it. About 45 minutes into the show, something banged on the front door. My sister and I jumped and screamed. And then there was dead silence. The only lights on in the house were from the kitchen down the hall and the light from the TV. We thought something on the porch simply blew against the door. So we waited. Didn't hear anything. And then it banged again. My sister and I were both frozen in the middle of the room. She crawled over to the TV to turn it off. Now the only light we had was that dim light from the kitchen all the way down the hall. We crouched down by the TV, trying to keep an eye on the front door. I remember this next part vividly. I was on my knees, sitting on my feet, and I turned around to look at the glass door that looked out on the backyard. I saw the knob turn. The door was locked on the knob, but not deadbolted. The knob rattled slightly, as if someone was gently trying the handle. My sister and I just held our breaths. And then bang, bang, bang. It sounded like someone was trying to force that door open, jerking it back and forth. My sister screamed a bloody murder. She got up and dragged me into her bedroom. She slammed the door, threw her mattress against it, and grabbed the phone. She tried to dial the sheriff, but she couldn't remember the number. I mean, it was the late 80s, early 90s. 911 wasn't a thing in our neighborhood. All she could do was hit redial on the phone. She got a hold of one of her friends and she told them what was going on. The friend said she would call the sheriff for us. Nothing else happened until my parents came home. We never did find out who was at the door or why. There were no signs of anything, except a couple of scuff marks on the bottom of the uh, back door, but we couldn't remember if they were there beforehand or not. Nothing like that has happened to me since, but I never forgot to lock a door after that. It was 3 a.m. and I was sleeping in my basement room. I woke up to the sound of someone moaning in agony on the couch. The way my room was laid out, I couldn't see the person. I just assumed I was hearing things, so I tried to go back to sleep. The noise didn't go away. Five minutes later, I leaned up, and I saw the person's legs and shoes. I leaned up farther, and I saw the guy was Hispanic. I sat there for 30 seconds, wondering what I should do. My first thought was to attack the guy. I had a knife on my nightstand. Instead, I remember my room locked from the outside. I moved. He heard me. He got up and chased me out of the room, but I got to the door first. I locked him inside. I sprinted up two flights of stairs to wake up my parents. They thought I was just having a bad dream or something. So they went downstairs, and right as they approached my room, the edge of a 10-pound weight from my workout set broke through the door. My mom raced to call 911. My father got a knife from the kitchen and told me to lock myself in their bedroom. A few minutes later, the police showed up. 
They arrested the guy and said he was drugged out of his mind on PCP. He apparently got in my room by diving through a window, but I didn't hear a thing. I actually have two true creepy home intruder stories. First one was when I was younger. We lived in an apartment complex, which my mother managed. The day before Halloween, she told us a scary story about how two little boys and their mom in the apartment above us died. She told us that if we listened closely, we could hear footsteps running up and down the hallway. Well, at that very moment, what do we hear? The sound of running upstairs. The look on my mother's face was pure terror. She called the cops, and when they showed up, they found a homeless mother had slipped in through an open window with her two children and had been living up there for some time. My mother never told another ghost story again. Second story, a couple years later. Different complex, which my mother managed. She was going through vacant apartments to check if anything needed to be fixed before showing them. I went with her because we didn't have any maintenance guys working that day. So we go through a few apartments and all was normal. Until we get to one where the door just opened. There was no need to turn the knob. The lock had been broken. I chalked it up to neighborhood kids and didn't think anything of it. I stood in the living room looking outside while my mother went to the master bedroom. She screamed. I ran to her as fast as I could and there in the closet was a girl, pale as snow, half naked, her nails dug into the wall. My mom told me to go get help. As I turned to run to the main office to get the security guard, a guy about six foot three came running out of the kitchen and out of the apartment. I chased him for a little bit, but I soon lost sight of him. Apparently the girl was in the middle of being sexually assaulted when we walked in. When I was 12 years old, my parents were having upgrades to the exterior of our house done. I was in bed one night when a noise outside my window woke me up. Because of the equipment outside the house, there were like ladders, whatnot, I tried to convince myself the wind was blowing something against my window. But every few minutes I would hear some noise, to the point that I was pretty sure someone was climbing a ladder. Since I was a kid at the time, I thought if I laid completely still, all the scary things would go away. So that's what I did. I just laid completely still. And I didn't hear anything for a couple of minutes until I heard a definite knocking on my window. I froze with fear. It sounded like someone was trying to get the window open. I jumped out of bed and went to my parents' room. I woke up my dad first and told him there was somebody outside my window. It took him a few seconds to fully wake up, but he got up and went into my room to check things out. It was my brother outside. He apparently snuck out and locked himself out. He was trying to wake me up to let him back in without my parents knowing. Yeah, that didn't work out the way he hoped. 